brothers and sisters in Christ. Today's devotion is taken from The Desire of Ages by Ellen G. White, chapter 50, page 455. My teaching is not mine, said Jesus, but his that sent me. If any man willeth to do his will, he shall know of the teaching, whether it be of God or whether I speak from myself. John chapter 7, verse 16 and 17. The question of this cavalers Jesus met, not by answering the cavil, but by opening up truth vital to the salvation of the soul. The perception and appreciation of truth, he said, depends less upon the mind than upon the heart. Truth must be received into the soul. It claims the homage of the will. If truth could be submitted to the reason alone, pride would be no hindrance in the way of its reception. But it is to be received through the work of grace in the heart, and its reception depends upon the renunciation of every sin that the Spirit of God reveals. Man's advantages of obtaining a knowledge of the truth, however great this may be, will prove of no benefit to him unless the heart is open to receive the truth, and there is a conscientious surrender of every habit and practice that is opposed to its principles. To those who thus yield themselves to God, having an honest desire to know and to do His will, the truth is revealed as the power of God for their salvation. This will be able to distinguish between Him who speaks for God and Him who speaks merely from Himself. The Pharisees had not put their will on the side of God's will. They were not seeking to know the truth, but to find some excuse for evading it. Christ showed that this was why they did not understand His teaching. Are you truly seeking God's truth? Do you receive His truth into your heart so that it can change you? Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I know that today there are many people who are searching for answers and seeking for truth. But I know that truth comes from you alone. Help me today to have the desire to seek your truth. Help me to make the effort to truly search out the truth. And when I do receive it, may I receive it into my heart so that I can be changed and be transformed into the likeness of Christ. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. May you have a great day ahead of you. Goodbye.